when it comes to the push-up, you want to start with your arms a little wider than shoulder width apart. And you want to spread your fingers. I don't know who was teaching people to do it like this, but this does not transfer to anything. So you want to keep your fingers spread and you want to grip the ground. When you're going into this position by extending your feet, you don't want to drop your hips and you don't want to raise your hips. You want to engage your core and maintain this diagonal position. Now, when you're descending, you're not allowing the pressure to go into your hypothenar muscles over here. There are three muscles over here, and most people when they do push-ups, they kind of like lean to the side, kind of like this. Look at my hands. And their thumbs start lifting. No. You want to grip the ground and ensure that the entirety of your hand is in contact with the ground. I always recommend performing this movement slowly because performing it quickly very easy, very easy. And what you need to keep in mind when you're descending is that your elbow should be flaring out at about 45 degrees. Not all the way up here, not all the way in here, but about 45 degrees. Perform a slow eccentric. Have your chest gently touch the ground. For some, this might be an uncomfortable position because they might not have the shoulder mobility to hyperextend like this. That's okay. Then just go to about 90 degrees where your arms are making a 90 degree angle and push back up. Another important cue is to either look at the ground slightly in front of you, say like two feet in front of you, or to just look ahead. I usually recommend looking ahead because most people start push-ups looking straight at the ground, like in between their hands, and then their reps look like this. And they think they're going a lot lower than they actually are because sometimes they'll even go like, one, you know, <laughs> we don't want that at all. Now, when you are unable to continue doing push-ups, like say you're only able to do three reps and say this is rep number three, if this is the last rep you can do, you'd be struggling like, It'd probably take you about six, seven seconds to complete the concentric. After that, you can regress the movement by straddling your legs and performing the movement. So there's a slightly easier movement to perform. And the other example is that you could just revert to kneeling push-ups and to just continue with that set until you're unable to even continue doing kneeling push-ups. That's the goal. That's a full set. That's reaching failure. And that's exactly what we want.